Okay, what I want to show you here today is how to install the Adobe Creative Cloud desktop app uh, on your computer. We're going to go in here and I'll make sure you have a direct link to this. We're going to find the uh, download the Creative Cloud desktop app to your PC computer. Uh, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to download from adobe.com. There are a lot of different ways to get to this. Um, we're going to go to the Creative Cloud desktop page. I'll work to send you right here immediately. The icon you're looking for is this red one. This is the app that we're looking for. So I want to come in here and I want to download that on my PC then. Uh, what we're going to find after we click on the download button is it's going to come in here and do its magic and start the process of downloading that. So it shows that it's ready to install and if I come down here it says please click the installer. I go ahead and uh, click that. It's going to ask me if I want to install it. I say yes. Come back in here and then the Creative Cloud installer is going to work. What I want to do is I want to sign in right here on this blue sign in and then I need to use my school G dot address uh, when that comes up. And what you're going to find, I'm going to go ahead and punch mine in here. It's the G dot uh, FHSD schools dot org. And when I hit tab, it's going to bring, it should bring up this Adobe ID or Enterprise ID option. We want the Enterprise ID because this is going to be a school account that we're working on. When I click that, it's actually going to redirect me to uh, Gmail login here, where I'm going to be able to use my Enterprise ID to sign in. What we're going to use to sign in on this thing is our G dot address again. So let's just come right in here. So this is not your uh, personal Gmail if you have one, it's your G dot because that's what the subscription is tied to. Go ahead and punch your password in. Then you're just going to start installing the app. So you go ahead and click on start installing and it's going to give you an installation progress and a little time up here and uh, you let that load. When your installing gets done, you'll see that it is at 100% here, and you'll move on to the next phase. Now it's going to have the Creative Cloud app opening here in a few moments, so it's running. What we're going to see up here that is nice is we have the apps pop up, Learn, Assets, Stock, and Behance. If for some reason this does not pop up in yours, please let me know. It might be because you had uh, another version of, of uh, the Adobe products loaded beforehand and for some reason there's a conflict. But if you've never installed Adobe before or if you uninstalled things properly, the Apps tab should pop up right here and it's going to give you everything you need. So what we see here, once this pops up, you have the option to install and it should say install here, not free trial. And then all you need to do as long as you are logged in and you're seeing that is go ahead and click on the ones you want to install. Photoshop does uh, photo manipulation, Illustrator does um, uh, vector illustrations, InDesign is a desktop publishing program, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro is a video editing app and After Effects does uh, some graphics work there. Lightroom is a popular photo app that is on here as well. You'll want Acrobat to work with PDF files, so that is an option that you have in there. Adobe Bridge helps you organize photos and does some work there. And then there's a lot of other programs in here uh, that you'll be able to install as well if that's what you want. And once you do that, you can install all of them. You can install just the select ones you want, and you can kind of go from there. So good luck with things. If you have any questions, please let me know.